crank it, and then... For Cassidy, who served as executive producer, watching the movie being shot was surreal. Well, I walked on the set the first day and watched Malcolm McDowell and Andy Kavavit playing me, and that was extraordinary, surreal, seeing us in a, in a scene that actually happened, you know, reenacting it 25 years later, and it was quite bizarre. Cassidy recorded new versions of his better-known songs for the movie. We went back in the original room that we recorded all of those hits in. Um, I, I got the original musicians, all of them, who had not played together. We had not played together for 25 years. The most magical recording experience I've ever had. As a teen idol, Cassidy started a number of trends, from puka shell necklaces to hairstyles. Hairstylists have said to me, do you know how many people have walked in the chair and said, I want a David Cassidy? You know, uh, um, being associated for the guy who started the puka shell craze, and I had this place in Hawaii, and I walked out on the beach, and I took a string, and I put some shells on. I walked, walked back in the house, got on an airplane, went on the uh, television, and the next thing I knew, millions of people were marketing them, making millions of dollars. So it's uh, what a legacy, a shag and, and puka shells.